Okay, so we're going to do some complex analysis and we're going to find the residues of this function here. z squared plus 1 divided by z cubed minus 5 over 2 z squared plus z. So how are we going to find the residues of this? Well, one method will be find the singularities, i.e. when z is 0 in this denominator here. So why don't we factor that out and see where that takes us. So let's just have a look at the denominator. So z cubed minus 5 over 2 z squared plus z. Okay, so if you factor out the z first and take a z out of each term, z squared minus 5 over 2 z plus 1. Okay, so now we've got a quadratic left with this z. So if we do z and then we have z minus something and because it's a plus there we'll have a z minus another number. So as we want these two numbers to add up to 1, uh, sorry to multiply to get 1 and then to add up to get minus 5 over 2, we're going to look at 2 and a half I think. So 2 and then 1 half. So now we can rewrite this function here as z squared plus 1 divided by z, z minus 2 and z minus a half. Okay. Right, now let's locate where the singularities are, i.e. when the denominator is equal to zero. So we'll have singularity at z equals naught. So singularities at z equals zero. So if that's zero, it all becomes zero. Now we move on to the brackets. So that, that becomes two, that also disappears. So z equals 2 would be another one. And then to get this one to disappear, z equals a half. OK, so now what we can do, we can use something called the cover-up rule. So the cover-up rule, or method, whichever way you want to call it. So as this function is analytic uh, on the complex plane and continuous, we can use this cover-up rule. So basically what it means is for each of the singularities in the denominator, for example, z equals zero, we just put our hand over that one and then calculate the values of the function that's left behind. Same for this one, we then calculate this function and then this one, calculate this function. So let's just write that out. So the residues of f at zero, so that's how we're going to work out, work out each one. We're going to have z squared plus 1 divided by z minus 2. And then z minus a half. And then all we do now is plug in the value 0 for all the z's. So 0 plus 1. That's just going to give us a 1. 0 minus 2, 0 minus a half. So minus 2 times minus a half. So minus 2 times minus a half, that is going to give us positive 1. So therefore the answer for the first residue is 1 at 0. Okay, now we find the residue of f at 2. So now it's going to cover up this one. So it's z squared plus 1 times z, z minus a half. Okay, plug in 2 for all the z's. So now 2 squared is 4 plus 1 is 5. That's going to give us a 2. And that's going to give us 2 minus a half is just going to give us 3 over 2, positive 3 over 2. Okay, so these ones cancel out. 
that's going to give us 5 over 3. So let's box these off as we get each answer. Okay, now the last one, I will off. So the residue at F for a half. So again, just covering this bit up now, we get Z squared plus 1, Z, Z minus 2. Okay, plugging in a half for here. So we get a quarter, half squared is a quarter plus one. So that's going to give us five over four. Then a half times a half minus two. That's going to give us one half times minus three over two. Okay, let's go again. Five over four divided by Half times minus 3 over 2 is going to give us minus 3 over 4. Okay, so what's this going to equal? So what we can do is now is the 4 times the 5. So we do the top and the bottom in this complex fraction here. So that's going to give us minus 20 divided by 12. So that's going to give us minus 5 over 3. And that's our answer for this residue. Okay.